told you what I'd do to you if you went to work for the woman. You'll try, maybe. Huey, take the boy inside. It's a free country. No, there's nothing free. You take it, and you hold it, and you pay for it. said it was your land, that a man named Tetlow was trying to push you off. Is it your land, Mrs. Iden? It's my land, if you can hold it. Is that what you wanted to know, Mrs. Arden? Yes. Do you have title to the land? It's my land and my son's. My husband filed on it under the Homestead Act. And he's dead now? Yes. And Tetlow doesn't believe in the homestead. That's right. I'm sorry. Go ahead and fill your curiosity. I lost the use of it during the war. Your letter said the two men worked for you, and the Tedlow had nearly beaten the second one to death. What happened to the first? 
They laid him across the barbed wire fence and whipped him. And they made you watch? Yes. Well, why not just push you off? Oh, I don't know. Guess because I'm a woman. better go. You losing your nerve, boy? Yeah. Maybe you're right. You go on back. You still gonna do it? That's what I came here for. I don't think we better. You better go home, Huey. said, son, go on home. Miss Harden, you go on back to sleep. Which one was it? Was it the boy? No. I'm glad. Fighter. He had bad manners and he got himself killed for it. I'd have done the same thing. But if I find you in this valley at sunup tomorrow, I'll take a shotgun and blow you in half. And I'll be with him. No more enemies. 
$250, Mr. Tate. You'll earn it. It's not a lot of money for dying. No, ma'am. Neither is this valley. I was waiting for him to leave, Mrs. Harden. I'll get ready to go to work. I'm glad you came back, Frank. I was up in the hills. I thought they might come after me. Not as long as you're not on the farm working for me, Frank. Well, they would have beaten me up again anyway. My name is Frank Pierce. Tate. Mr. Tate's helping us out here. Oh, I'm sure glad. She needs looking after. Well, I'll put my gear back in the barn. Frank, if you want, I have a horse for you and $25. Oh, I won't run away again, Mrs. Harden. Ma! Ma! I found where she's been hiding them. Under the back porch. Come and see. I'm sure glad you're here to look after her. Well, I'll go put my things in the barn. my husband to lunch that way. It was a joke we had. Frank. Oh, you're a mighty good cook, Mrs. Harden. How about you? Thank you. See what Frank wouldn't for me while he was away? And I can shoot it. Bang! We need supplies. We'll have to go to town after lunch. Me too, Ma. Uh-huh. Can I go inside the store? You got two cents. You can do with it what you want. Mrs. Harden, I think we better stay home. We need supplies. Maybe tomorrow. Second time? No, sir. I know that. The first. Well, he burst those chains, picked up the jawbone of an ass, and smote the Philistines head and thigh. The whole army? The whole army. How? Well, I guess the power of the Lord was in him, boy. Well, where did he get the jawbone from? I uh, think you'd better go to bed. You don't know? Can I shoot your gun tomorrow, mister? I think you're a little young for that. Do you think the whale really spewed up Jonah? Does your ma say so? Yes. Well, then he did. Now you get back in that bed and that old black hen's gonna beat you getting up in the morning. All right. I just saw a man's silhouette on the ridge of the hill. Are you sure, Frank? Oh, no, sir, I'm not sure, but it looked like a man. You can go to bed if you want, Frank. Dedlow said morning, I think that's when he'll come. But he could say that and come now. Yeah. Oh, Miss Harden is getting even mean around. Oh, you think one little one would hurt? One never did, Frank. I just take one, I promise you. All right. But if you say so, I won't. I wouldn't go behind your back. Give you my word. 
Why don't you get some rest while you can, huh? I'm good with a rifle, Mr. Tate. Yeah, I'm sure you are, Frank. From the barn loft might be a good place. I'll be there. Good night, Miss Harden. Good night, Frank. Can I get you some hot coffee? No, then. You have a gentle way with people, Mr. Tate. I hope it doesn't frost tonight. Kill my flowers. You give your flowers a lot of love, don't you? And they give me a lot of pleasure. In many ways, it's a stark land, Mr. Tate. It's green and lovely in the spring, but stark just the same. The color's warm, and my flowers bring color to our home. It's the only flower garden in a hundred miles. Did you know that? No. You think Tetlow will come? I would if I were him. Would you rather be somewhere else? I could, you know. Oh, no, he may not come. He'll come sometime. I... I may have to ask you to stay until he does. What happened to your husband, Mrs. Arden? He caught anthrax and killed him. Sorry. I'm sure he was a good man. What makes a, a gunfighter, Mr. Tate? The war. Hard times, hard men. This. The choice of being a clerk, drunk, barroom sweep. Gunfighter. I don't know. Sometimes I tell myself I like giving my help to people who need it. I like being able to. I'll be awake before sunrise. Good night. Tate! Now, Mom. Shh, now you go back to sleep. 
Will Mr. Tetlow run us off? No. Sure, I'm going to come back if I can, boy. You'll come back? So that it doesn't kill you? Yes, ma'am, Mrs. Hart. Right now, I think I'm going to take an awful lot of killing. Yes. 